Hey everyone, I'm going to give you my take on shared coordinates in Revit. All of this actually starts in the civil CAD file. In fact, in my opinion, uh, the shared coordinates should only relate to the civil CAD file. So until you have that, you shouldn't actually use shared coordinates at all. Prior to Revit 2021, it's very difficult to change the shared coordinate system. So uh, 2021 allows you to reset it, but anyways, here's our CAD file. The origin in the lower left here, AutoCAD 00. Uh, I put a big circle around it and a couple lines just so we can keep a reference. Typically, civil CAD files are already oriented to true north, and they the 00 relates to the benchmark or the origin of the county coordinate system or whatever coordinate system is being used. Usually this is uh, much further up into the right, uh, but just for simplicity, I'm gonna have it closer so that we can track it a little bit easier. But this is our CAD file. It has an existing building and a couple of empty lots on either side of it. So that that's the file that we're gonna use for our civil CAD file. And then for our Revit files, we have a site, and ex the existing building, and then a proposed building. So let's just take a look at these three Revit files real quick. We won't actually do anything in them yet. We have a project base point and a survey point that are right there at the project origin. Here's the default elevations. So nothing's been really done in this site file yet. We have our proposed building, which also has the project base point and the survey point aligned with each other at Revit's project origin. So here's a really simple proposed building. And then we have our simple existing building. Again, project base point, survey point, the original elevations, and the simple building. So where we're going to want to start is in the site file. We're going to link in the CAD file. We're not going to correct lines that are slightly off axis. Doesn't really matter the positioning because we're actually going to move the site file in a moment. But let's go ahead and hit open. Notice that that circle, which was at AutoCAD's 00, is now centered on Revit's origin, the project base point, and the survey point. Uh, for the most part, uh, we're going to ignore project base point. Let's just take that completely out of the equation. Uh, we're going to focus on the survey point in the shared coordinate system. If we zoom out, or if we were to do a zoom extents, usually again this is way in outer space and it's actually kind of hard to see these two together. But this is essentially what's happening, is the CAD file 00 is right there at the origin, and then the site plan is way out, up and to the right. You should never, ever, ever start modeling in this area where the CAD file just naturally dropped in. This has uh, become super problematic with hatch patterns and wall cleanups and uh, export CAD exports because uh, of the coordinate system that Revit's trying to manage this far from Revit's origin. So we're going to select this thing and move it. So we have to unpin it. And then we're just going to move it near the origin, basically the original starting point of the Revit screen. Notice that the survey point is still right there in the center, but the CAD 00 is now down and to the left. So once we get this position, it doesn't really matter exactly where we put it. Notice it's it's a true north orientation. And um, if we switch true north here for the orientation, that it doesn't change because we haven't actually adjusted true north yet. Um, but so we're going to select this CAD file, we're going to pin it, and then we're going to acquire the shared coordinates. Uh, again, we're not going to, uh, maybe I didn't say this yet, but we're not going to use publish at all because BIM 360 doesn't allow publish to happen, which means you're going to 
change another file that you're not currently in. In this case, I would try to do something in the CAD file, but if you're doing shared coordinates between Revit files, it would try to make a change in the other Revit file. Um, so this can all be done only using Acquire. It can be slightly more challenging, but not, uh, not impossible at all. So Acquire. Now, as soon as I hit Reconcile, you'll see this survey point move. So I'm going to hit Reconcile. And now there's just the project base point at Revit's origin. If we zoom out just a little bit, the survey point has now moved to align with the 0, 0 of the CAD file. So that's the whole point of shared coordinates, is to have some sort of system that relates to the survey coordinate system, or the county coordinate system, basically. Uh, elevation can uh, should be included here, but we're just going to ignore that in this particular example. So essentially, now when you do a spot elevation or use the level command, if that spot elevation or level datum are using the survey, uh, survey system instead of the project base point, it will all be relative to your civil, so northing and easting and and all that stuff. So that's really important to understand that that's, that's how the shared coordinate system works with the CAD file. So the next thing we're going to do is close out of this file and open up the existing building. So we're gonna open the existing building. We're gonna link in the survey file. So link Revit I'm sorry, the, the Revit site file. And the CAD link in that Revit site file isn't showing up by default, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on. So here's the CAD site file. It can be moved around, and the existing building is set up for Project North, basically, not True North. We're going to select the Move command and snap to this point. We previously outlined where the CAD or where the existing building is in the site file. Now that we have the site file the Revit site file, which already has shared coordinates enabled, we're going to go ahead and acquire the shared coordinates for that file into this file. So notice the survey point right now is again at the building origin. As soon as we acquire the shared coordinates, the survey point in this file is going to move to align with the origin of the site file, which aligns with the origin of the CAD file. So we're going to select that linked Revit model and we're going to acquire shared coordinates. So survey point moved, now the survey points align. The two project base points not aligning doesn't matter. Those are not part of this equation at all. So we're going to also pin this linked site file for now so, so it doesn't move. And then we're going to save. So the next uh, thing we need to do is figure out where the proposed building goes. We actually don't have that outlined here yet because we don't know where we're going to put the new building. The existing building was a little easier. So we're going to link this proposed building. And I should have, I was, I had meant to um, do the option where I can manually place it wherever I want. So manual, and then I'd, I'd pick on the screen where I want it to go. But let's just say we want it roughly here. We're going to rotate it. Maybe it currently doesn't want to align with the adjacent property line. So I'm just totally winging it. And then to help me figure out where this goes, 
when I link this site plan into the proposed building file directly, I'm just quickly going to give myself a couple of reference lines. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to close this file and then go into the proposed building. And then I'm going to link in the site file. Again, it doesn't matter exactly where it puts it because I'm going to grab it and move it. I'm going to use the move command, snap to the endpoint, type SE to snap to the endpoint, rotate, place my base point. Now that I have the site model rotated and aligned with my proposed Revit building, I am now also going to use the acquire command and we'll see the survey point move to align with the CAD files 00 and the site origin. So now I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this and if I go back into the site model now I actually have two options. I could select this file and notice its, its survey point is, has already moved um, but if I select this file it's not using the shared coordinate system because it was already placed so I could click on this and select move and it's going to move it to that building's internal shared coordinate, which is the same as this model. If I hit OK, and then it's it's done. But just to show you the benefits of everything being set up with shared coordinates, if I go to Manage Links, remove this file, now I can place it using by shared coordinates and it'll drop into the right spot. So if you did any uh, uh, adjustments like selecting something and right clicking hide and view, you wouldn't want to remove the link and add it again, but generally you shouldn't be doing that anyway. So um, removing a link and then re-adding it like this should generally be fairly safe to do. So link, proposed building, by shared coordinates. Hit open and then it drops directly into the right spot. So we're going to go back into the proposed building site. And if we open the site plan, you'll notice the site plan still by default in the Revit templates, the, um, the north is set to Project North. So over here in Properties, if we were to switch this to True North, notice how it automatically rotated to match True North. In this proposed building file, we never did anything to modify North. So it knows that because of the fact that we moved the site file and rotated it to align with our building and then acquire the shared coordinates. So actually one other thing I want to do in, in the site now, now that this is all set up, I'm going to turn on that CAD file real quick that's linked into the site file. So now what happens if all of a sudden this building wants to move over to this other piece of property? something changed and the client wants to move it. it. It's super simple. You just select the survey point and move the survey point. Of course you can type in values but I'm, I'm just trying to show you in the simplest possible way. I can even use my arrow keys. That's it. Now watch, I save this file, close it, go back into my site file, and the building's moved.
these are my reference lines I can get rid of. So that's, that's how you can move a building in your site file in the most simplest way by using shared coordinate systems and then manipulating the uh, survey point. If we wanted to change north in that file, we'd go back. Maybe now we want the building to align with the property lines. We go back into the proposed buildings. And then we're going to go to the Manage tab and rotate true north. So I'm just going to wing it here a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what the value is. So I rotated it. I'm going to select that survey point, And now I'm just actually using my arrow keys to position this. Save. Close this and go back into the site file. And now it's moved properly. So the last bit of this that's pretty cool is once it's all set up properly like this, if we go into our architectural floor plan, for example, and we want to export this for Civil so that they can see where the doors are and the overhead coiling doors and sectional doors to figure out where uh, stoops might need to be or sidewalks that they're going to design up, up to the building need to go. We'll simply go to the export command. We're going to export to DWG. And in the settings for this export, we're going to tell Revit to use the shared coordinate system. And actually, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to do just to show a more complex example, I'm actually going to export the 3D view. That previous example would have just exported a 2D plan view. So export CAD DWG shared coordinate system. I'm going to just let it have the default name. Not going to have it use paper space and link sheet views so that Unchecking this, make sure I just get one CAD file. So export. Now you see we have this one CAD file that was created. And now when the civil folks receive this file, they can use the xref command in CAD. Select this file that you gave them. And typically the specify on screen is checked, which is, means you'd pick somewhere to place the file manually. If you uncheck this, you can specify that that CAD file's insertion point, which is its 00, you know, where to put it in this file. So we're going to put 00. So that CAD file and this CAD file's 00 match. Hit OK. And it fell exactly in the right spot. And notice the little grip down here is that CAD file's 00. And then not only is it in the right spot, but in CAD, it's also a 3D file. So if I do the shade command and then shift and center wheel button, just like in Revit, you can see that 3D CAD file is there. So that's the full uh, cycle of CAD to Revit and then back to CAD. If you have a, a Revit file with footings and um, other structural foundation th type things modeled and the civil folks are using civil 3d to its fullest extent you can have this cad file drop into the right spot and be able to go around the building and look at brick ledges and and other uh, structural foundation things to make sure that they have proper coverage and um, so it's a really cool workflow hope you find this helpful